Alright, good night everybody. This is Farok here. Uh, so I get through with the ping test to and from inside and outside. So I decided to share the information I got with you guys. Um, before I start, some pointers I uh, need to clarify before. Uh, one thing is taking the consideration is now router. So they even think same way you would think how you see work on a router to some effect is the same thing but just to think of it as a router you just get confused um, the next thing you see the security level the security level does a lot in terms of sending the packet across those are not sending back a packet you know depends on the level so say like the 100 now on VLAN 1, there's the inside. If you would have ping it, it would send back a message automatically because it trusts the inside. So you'll say, okay, go ahead. But if you go to ping the security zero, right? So the packet will be sent out here. But when it coming back, tag as VLAN 2 traffic from the 192.168.2.1 network, 2.0 network, because your security level is zero, is going to stop you and block you one time, right? So as the trees from this side to this side right um, so the security level does a lot in understanding how you're using the echo reply or how you're using the echo and we will demonstrate that just now um, the next thing is is how 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 you want to look at it right so we're trying to get a pink test here right so how you're looking at it as is either we're looking at it from outside to inside or we're looking at it from inside to outside the easiest thing for me was to watch it from the red zone which is the outside trying to get inside alright because everything inside you already going outside it's just the outside you really can't access inside alright so so let me start um, let me just do so I already set up these two PCs here with a one this one with a static um, 2.5 2.1 is gateway and this one is a 1.5 with this a DHCP, right? Right, let me see the actual um, commands here. Let me do a show run. Show run. So you see that I had nothing really running up my sleeve here. Alright, so so we seen VLAN 2 on 800, VLAN 1 already configured. So we need to configure VLAN 2. And we need to create the access list and apply the access list, right? Alright, so let me do that. So, um, config. So, interface VLAN 2. Alright, so we're saying let me name the VLAN. Name, if name outside. Alright, security level is 0 for outside, right? And we give an IP address 192.168.2.1, right? Net mass and no shots. No shot now. Alright, so we exit that. Alright, so let me create the. You're gonna help me out here, right? Let me create the access list, right? So we say we're looking at it from outside the inside, right? So what we say here, we say we want to permit. We want to permit, well, the, the ICMP, right? So it's an extended access list. So we know what extent then we need to put it close to the source, right? So we're gonna apply it to the eat zero slash zero, right? That's the interface we wanna apply. It. But we're gonna go in the ACL statement. We're gonna go in the access list. So we're saying we wanna permit ICMP coming from the source one nine two one sixty two dot well let me the zero is the network, not zero, right? With the subnet mass, trying to reach the one dot zero network, which is this side. Alright, and then we use an echo reply. But why are we using echo reply? Alright, so we're gonna use echo reply. Why? Why should we use echo reply? Here, here's what's gonna happen. We're saying to permit traffic. So if you ping it, we're not gonna ping from here. We're gonna test it from the 1.5. Alright, but we're looking at it from this side. Alright, so if you ping from here, it's not even gonna reach true. The access list. You catch that? 
if you go to ping from this PC here, it's not even gonna it's gonna get blocked one time. If you ping from this PC using the same access list, it's gonna ping. Why why is that? Cause because we say we're gonna send permit traffic from the 2.0 which any 1.0 if you ping from the green side which is the inside when you send the ping you're gonna reach the firewall because it's 100 you're gonna send it through you're gonna reach the machine the machine gonna target the 2.0 network target as VLAN 2 traffic and when it come back using the echo reply it already had the ACL saying okay I'm coming from the 2.0 with as the statement and I want to reach 1.0 so when it coming back it's saying okay go ahead all right so you see that right all right so let me put in the ACL and you'll see it actually working well, let me do the ping test before to show that you know working all right so I've done some stuff before make sure it was working um ping 192.168 you know I don't think you could see this but let me, let me just put it in the middle here all right should be able to see it now 168.2.1 Right, that's the gateway, right? So it's pinging the gateway. If I try to ping the one dot one, which is the other side, should fail. Right, the one dot one is the gateway for the VLAN one, right? The side, the green side. So it's failing, right? Because we know ACL is not configured, right? So we know that not working. Let me try this side. Show you not working. So this side is let me see if I have anything in the two dot one. Two dot one is the other side, right? Two dot one is the other side, right? So we're gonna time out, right? So we ping the one dot one. One dot oops, one dot one. This is the gateway, so it ping in the gateway, right? Nice. So we're that working. Alright, so we had that working. So now let me configure the the access list, right? So, access list, I'm gonna go in, access slash, let's name it outside, right? Because we're looking at it from the outside. Uh, we supposed to put here? A uh, wood outside. Um, I think it's like extended, access list is extended. We want to permit ICMP traffic to. Mm -hmm. Resources 192.168.2.0 and we confirm it to 0 network, right? And it's saying we want to reach the destination is 192.168.1.0, right? Alright, um, so one statement missing was that as the echo reply, right? ECHO, I think I spelled it wrong. Echo reply, right? Good. So we finished making the access. Now we are, let's apply it to the interface. So you don't need to go into the interface. Uh, again, confused. You had to go into the interface like a router and apply it IP, um, so on, so inside, outside, right? So no, you don't need to to do it outside here. Access, access group. Um, so okay. So we say an access group. Okay, you can name it. So what would so we apply it to the outside interface, right? So outside, side e. All right. So for what traffic? What kind of traffic? Hmm, that's a good question. What traffic? So if it head into the firewall, it would be in, not out, because it not even passing the brick wall. You know, you need to walk with a sledge to go through the wall. So. You're going to the wall, you're not going away, you're going to walk away from the wall, you know, with the sledge, no. You're going to the wall, with the sledge, right? So we're saying, in to the input traffic, inbound traffic. So in, and interface, and then something else. Alright, so, alright. So, on what interface? The interface is actually the VLAN. Alright, so coming from more VLAN, from VLAN 2, right, outside, right, cool, so let me try the ping test, let's try, let me try from this side first, right, so let me try to ping the 1.1, one one. 
Let me check timeout. Uh, let me try from the other side now. Let me just get to timeout day. Let's see, timing out, right? Let me try from this side. So, this side, we see with this side doing. Mm, that's 1.1, one one. that's not the uh, other side. 2.1. Not 2.1, we're doing 2.5. Right, so 2.5 is who? So you see it working, right? The wind pingy 2.1, that's the gateway or the... For some reason, I don't know why, but it doesn't ping the gateway. It does not allow it to ping the gateway. Right, so there's the PC, 2.5, on this side. So we see in that it ping in 2.5, right? If you do a trace route, trace route 192, c.1.2.5, you see it hit the 1.1 interface as the gateway and then it went straight across so it was allowed right and we see that it couldn't pass it couldn't ping from the red zone you can't ping the green zone from the red zone where you can pin ping the green to the red catch that you could ping the green side to the red meaning you send a message and then you send it back where you can't ping the green from the red because as you reach the access list, you're going to block it. So how are you going to allow it? And this is where the security comes in. Our next point. The security, right? So because it's 100, you don't need to use echo reply. Because 100 saying, go back. You don't need echo reply. Right? You're going to allow it to go back. The firewall is not going to block it. When it's coming back, it's going to say, go ahead. You're on the green side. Yeah, everything good. Everything nice on the side. You go ahead. It's like yeah, when you're passing the security, you already went inside. Now for you to go outside, you don't need to show your badge or you know, you're already inside, you know, go outside. You know? So it's something like that. So so how are we gonna do that? So the same thing, more or less. You don't need to apply nothing to the interface anymore. Alright? So remember the security level is a hundred, so it just it's just a statement to come in. You just have a badge to show hey, look my badge here, I want to go in. Right, so how are we doing that? So we're saying access list. We had to create access list for the other side eh? to go through. Access list outside. Uh, just like making an next statement. So we're just making an next statement in the, the outside access list we had, right? So permit ICMP, ICMP traffic. Mm, the source. Alright, so what source are we using? That's a good question. So the source is who? The source is the 2.0 because coming from him. Right? Remember it had a com it coming from him and it's gonna automatically send it back. Right? So the source is 2.0. So 192.168.2.0. zero to the destination is 192.168 dot one dot zero and then two five five all right so we just use an echo right all right so that in place so we don't need to apply anything else to the interface all right so let me try the ping test mm -hmm. Oh crap, everyone ping that. Yeah, ping the PC itself. So there's one not five. So you see it going through. Hooray, that was so hard. You see, it wasn't that hard. It just on you see the security level played a big part in it. So it actually ping in the we do our trace routes. Trace route the one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot five. Right, so it hit the two dot one and it was allowed to pass through to the one dot five. Cool. Um yeah, so the security play a big part. I mean, to play in DMZ zone now, it shouldn't be, should be hard. Um, that's the next thing I'm going to try. But um, I think that should be it. So I think, I hope you understand the access list. How it works in the IC ICMP. The echo reply especially. Um, the security level play a big part in blocking it from even passing anyway. Or allowing it in the green zone, it would allow it across. In the red zone, we'll block it before you even pass the gate. You wouldn't even allow to pass the gate. Right? Um, I think that should be it. Yeah, so we have it working. 
and um, it should be easy on this on this class yeah all right guys hope it was helpful any questions you could send my message or when you see me get poke me or something all right all right guys thank you